damn, yo, that truck was way too close to me when it passed through me. But anyways, you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Riding with Anthony. Today is a special episode because today we're going to review the V Set 9. We're going to go to Queens right now, and we're going to go to my buddy's friend store. He told me, hey, Anthony, can you come over and review the scooter for me? And I was like, hey, why not? Sure. But anyways, if you guys made it this far, let me just get through the sidewalk right here. Hopefully a Karen doesn't pop out. But anyways, if you guys made it this far through the video, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Any questions or concern or comments, share that in the comment section. the v set 9 and we're here with the store owner philip tell them what the story is i got uh right now we're at 7152 austin street uh also known as a repair shop uh but uh, my company is on speedway riders we actually sell um basically any type of brand scooter you're looking to get if you're looking to get even a segway we probably get the segway we have v sets we have juicy m crews we have u scooters and right now we just got in a cobble wolf king so we pretty much have something for everybody. Cool. Yeah, it's a spec. So this is a B set uh, nine. It's the base single model. It's not the dual motor version. Yeah. There is a dual motor version of this. It's about three hundred dollars more. So this is single motor, correct? Single motor. It All peaks right. around nine hundred watts. Nine hundred watts. Yeah. Okay. So it's good for hills and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, it should be okay for the most part. So, so show us like the control on it. So here's the controller. It's similar to like um, the Dodge one, right here. NFC uh, lock. So you need NFC to open it up. You got three control settings on here. Yeah. Uh, if you want to get into actual advanced settings, 20 settings. Okay. So at the 20, you pretty much control how fast it starts, your peak output, your... And what's this right here? This is like a car reader? NFC car reader. You could also use oh, your... If you have an okay. Android phone, you can use your phone instead too. You have to just... I think there's an app. You could link, take the key, look, look it up to the... Right. You know, I'll read it right off of it. Oh, and that's the horn. So it's, give us a demonstration on the oh, horn. Oh, horn? Yeah. It's, it's whack. Right. See? That's it's like a high pitch. It's like, if you have a dog, they're not gonna like. It. It's like, it's like, oh wow! <laughs> well, so so it could warn up people's dogs and stuff like that. <laughs> the handlebar, yeah. So so it's like a twist handlebar, right? Yeah, it's a twist handlebar. The stem locking mechanism is three point actually. Right. So you you control it from here, there, and also here. We're here. We're already there's a three prong. Um, this comes up. It's a little latch right here. Yeah. The latch you use to you cling on here. And that's it. Now it's, it's not light by any means, but it's not that heavy. Oh. Either, so. Let me let me try it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, bro, this is light compared to my. Ego. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, we got a headlight right here, guys. Yeah. Look at that headlight right there. That's kind of dope. Yeah, there's a headlight right there. There's two in the base. Yeah, and you could dual charge them as well. Yep, that's a triple one. This is just to make sure that it's not going anywhere. All right, and that's it. Make sure you guys the back, you got no wobble. Plus, the suspension as the well. The suspension is what's really killer here. It's using so what we call a swing arm suspension. A what? A swing arm. Oh, a swing arm suspension. Similar to like the Dotron. The Dotrons don't know. The Dotrons have cartilage. cartilage yeah. So you are, you'll see a difference. You ride on oh. this, you'll see like. Even though it's only eight, eight and a half inch wheels, I right. feel like it's ten inch wheels. Okay. Uh, so you still feel like damping, right? Yeah. So okay. Here's a little thing you might not notice. Turning signals. Oh, we got turning signals. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. See? There it is. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, and you could do yeah. on the left the same side as well. Feel well, it. Yeah. It's literally like a rubber button be, um, in, integrated with the handlebars. Yeah. Nice. Hey, does it show on the back too? Oh yeah, it does show yeah. on the back. Yeah, you just see the back. Yeah, so it gets brighter. Yeah. And you can see it on the front. Not that many scooter has that. Not many at all. Yeah. <laughs> Unless so you have the Oh yeah, that's a, that's a good thing about the kickstand. Sometimes, sometimes these kickstands, man, you, you got your scooter lean, but this one is perfect for it, you know? Yeah, so that's pretty decent. Now look at this kickstand here. Oh, wow, compared to, to the, <laughs> you ain't going on with that kickstand. So I'm gonna try the uh, V-Set 9 for the first time. Um, let's see how this goes. So yeah, keep in mind, it's not a full battery. It's at about 60%, give or take. But you should get a good idea of how it rides. So the handlebars, 
it's like a curve yeah it's a little curve just yeah. like a motorcycle wow yeah, yeah, thank you. so we like in kickstart you guys so i like the suspension oh wow the suspension on this one guys it feels like fucking unbelievable though like it's very springy not like the Dolce Go Pro that is very damp but um yeah it feels really good with smaller wheels these like I think about nine inches but like it feels really good so I tell you one thing though the suspension feels way better than the Dolce <laughs> I told yeah. you it has triple suspension you got swim more and you got a cool suspension yeah so I, I saw that you were jumping up and down yeah feels way better than Duotron yeah the, the suspension on this one guys it feels you, way better than the Ego Pro you can hit a, you can hit a hop, a, a, a hop, a hop yeah a hop, a hop, and be like oh you barely feel it yeah it's like <laughs> this feels way better because with the Ego Pro man or with a door with any Duotron you still feel that damp you yeah, know it plants you part of the suspension yeah so that's outdated it may have been good two years ago yeah not anymore man that was a <laughs> that, that, that was a smooth ass ride yeah the thing well it is single motor yeah. um so it's, similar to it's understandable segue, with yeah, the torque bit, yeah because yeah. yeah, i'm i'm i got i'm always dual so yeah yeah you probably so it's you equivalent if you took your ego pro and you just put it on single motor yeah that's probably what it felt like yeah that visa felt really nice guys i want to thank philip for letting me try um the vset 9 and uh what's the scooter today the 11 plus the 11 plus so again you guys check out philip i'm gonna put the links in the description thank you guys for watching until the next one with riding with anthony so i'm gonna let this cab driver pass through me because man he is freaking on my ass yo but anyways you guys that was my review on the vset 9 jesus look at these fucking potholes man but speaking of potholes man i think the vset 9 could handle potholes especially here in new york city very smooth I want to thank Philip for letting me try his scooter out and check out his store. If you guys are in the neighborhood in New York City, make sure to give him a visit. His store address and his website is in the description below. So make sure you guys check that out. Anyways, you guys, until the next one with Riding With That.